Let's just get behind the story of what's happening on the Turkish border to see how it fits into the wider picture. Because the threat from Islamist fighters isn't just in Syria. It's next door in Iraq as well, alarming countries throughout the Middle East. But that doesn't mean it's proving easy to build a coalition to rein them in. These are the militants that the Syrian Kurdish refugees are fleeing from. Flaunting captured weaponry, they pose for the recruiting videos they like to post online. The brutal, powerful group that calls itself Islamic State and which has shocked the world with the beheading of hostages. Their well-armed fighters have swept through swathes of northern Syria and northwest Iraq, putting Turkey on the front line. Turkey argues its long border makes it vulnerable. It's already struggling with a million refugees from the Syrian civil war. But some say Turkey has also turned a blind eye to smuggling. Turkey did have another vulnerability. 49 Turkish hostages kidnapped by IS three months ago until they were suddenly freed on Friday. Turkey insists no ransom was paid, but some wonder if a secret deal was done to get them released. In any case, now the hostages are safe. The United States, which is pulling together a coalition to counter the IS extremists, is putting Turkish leaders under pressure to help. They have absolutely pledged to be effective and to be deeply involved in helping to deal with this challenge. Now, the proof will not be in the words, the proof will be in the actions. In Iraq, American and now French airstrikes have already helped slow down the IS advance, working with the government in Baghdad. But that's not possible in Syria, where the US is opposed not only to IS, but also President Assad's regime. This week, as world leaders meet at the UN, top of the agenda will be countering the IS threat. Britain's pledged its support, but hasn't yet committed to airstrikes in either Syria or Iraq. Well, we haven't made any decisions on either proposition. They are two different uh, propositions. We've said we will play a prominent role in the coalition. The coalition will be multifunctional and that many partners involved in it. In theory, the United States could reach out beyond its allies to Syria, Iran and Russia too. They also see the rise of IS fanatics as a threat. But some grand coalition uniting everyone against IS seems unlikely. There's too much distrust. Though never say never, never. Who knows what private conversations will take place at the UN this week?